California would become the first state in the country with the right to disconnect law. And if passed, responding to text messages or emails while off the clock would become a thing of the past. Working, you know, as a teacher, we always bring our work home anyway, and we're always working weekends. Brenda says her family would benefit from the right to disconnect. If passed, bosses would need to clarify when employees are expected to be available and guarantee uninterrupted personal time outside of those hours. You know, it used to be that we go into work, you clock in, you work hard, you clock out, and then you're home and you're with your family and you're with your friends and you're resting. Now we have this work culture that is a consequence of 24-7 accessibility. Assemblymember Matt Haney introduced the bill. He says a dozen countries already have similar laws. This includes France, Portugal, Italy, and Spain. He says studies show workers are happier and more productive with time to disconnect. My workplace, we're encouraged to never look at our emails or our work phones after hours or before hours. Gabriella says her employer encourages a good work-life balance. It definitely helps, especially working in the nonprofit world. Sometimes the emotional toll is a little heavy and being able to disconnect from that is great in order to keep your sanity and keep kind of the hope alive that we're actually making a difference. The state's Labor Commission could investigate and fine employers with repeated violations of the right to disconnect. Emergencies and scheduling purposes would be an exception to the rule. Jasner Maris, CBS 8.